Hello Pisces and welcome to your bonus tarot reading. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I hope that you're doing well. Pisces, we're going to dive right in. Make sure to like and subscribe. This is the best way to support my work. I'm going to start by picking the general energy as always. This is the energy that's supporting you in the present moment. Let's see what wants to come through for Pisces. Pisces. Give me one more for Pisces. Okay, let's see what we have here. The Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. So, as you know, as I am used to seeing in your readings, there's definitely something coming up about your intuition, Pisces. The Three of Cups, to me, is definitely your connection with the invisible. What is there protecting you, um, supporting you, helping you, guiding you, but you're not necessarily seeing it. And with the Page of Cups, there is this need to have fun, to let more room for play in your life. So there could definitely be a situation that needs to be taken a little less seriously. And that can make you feel all types of way, you know, hearing me say that. Um, but there is definitely something about that. When I see the Page of Cups, especially as first energy, to me, it's practically always connected to the inner child. So your inner one is like, hey, Pisces, I'm here. I need to have a little fun. This has been very serious. And I feel like by acknowledging your, your little one, it's going to make more connections with this, you know, invisible family that you have, this invisible support. So the work that you're doing right now is very rooted in, again, inner child work and also your intuition, getting clear messages from spirit, from your guides and knowing that it's supporting you. So you could definitely be going through something right now. But your intuition is definitely on point. Uh, this is an energy you're very comfortable with. So a lot of Pisces I know are doing the inner child work. Like before people were talking about it online and it became like that uh, huge topic. I know that you've been doing that for a very, very long time if you're Pisces. Um, but there's something happening right now that feels even more profound for some reason. Feels like you had some type of haha -ha moment. You are definitely in the process of healing something um, that comes from your childhood, maybe. Very interesting combo of card. I like seeing that. We have Judgment Tower and the Eight of Cups, which... Again, this is Pisces energy, very, very comfortable in this uh, letting go, releasing of something. This is a very important time in your life, seeing the Tower and the Judgment card. The Tower is very unpredictable, very scary for a lot of people, but it will free you from whatever you've been trapped in. So it can be, again, something from your childhood, getting this realization, having a conversation that changes you. It could be hearing a podcast, listening to a movie and getting this haha -ha moment. Um, I don't know what tools you've been using, Pisces, to make your mind a nicer place to be to get more in tune with your body, be more present, and also um, connecting even more with your guides. But you've been doing a great job at it. Whatever it is that you released, whatever it is that you, you just let go of, you did a good thing letting go of that because it was key 
in your transformation journey. I think that you're definitely working hard on not judging yourself too much around the decisions that you made in the past. And again, that could be very connected to releasing a person, uh, choosing yourself in a situation. I feel like it could have created this big tower moment, you making an empowered decision, you changing direction and not doing what other people were expecting you to do, that could have created a big tower moment. It gave you the opportunity to rebuild yourself from the ground up. And that is just, you know, profound work. You've been digging very, very deep into the darkest parts of yourself, the most vulnerable parts of yourself. And while you're doing that, you are very supported. Again, I keep hearing invisible family. And it's not just because of the three of cups. There's something about that. You could be getting very clear messages in the next two weeks. And especially now the veil is so thin in October and November. You're going to be getting very clear messages. And I feel they are different from what you're used to see. So let's say you've been seeing some type of repetitive number or you connect with some type of animal and you know that this is a message from your guides. It's going to be really different from that. It's nothing scary. It's just more profound. You're kind of graduating energetically to the next level of your spiritual practice, of your connection with what you believe in, really. Um, and that is very, very powerful. There is something that recently came to an end. I would say in the last year, it could be a relationship, your living situation. There's something that came to an end. And other people weren't happy about that. But you freed yourself from something. Very specific energy I'm getting here. Um, it feels right. It feels right. And you kept your head up through very, very difficult times. Because this tower, and you know, a lot of you know how much I love the tower card. It took me years to really... Um, build a strong relationship with that card, a relationship of trust, really. But in that specific placement, feeling that it was in your past, I know that it wasn't easy. It brought up a lot of shit. Let's just put it that way. And again, I feel like there's other people involved and some people weren't happy with you choosing yourself and making the right decision for you. Let's see what we have here. The five of wands in the reverse. We have the page of wands in the reverse and the 10 of pentacles in the upright. So it could definitely be connected to family matters or your ancestors, the people that were there before you. With the 10 of pentacles, I know that you are ending some type of cycle. Being the first one in many generations to finally get to that place. Um, you could be the most intuitive person in your family and also being an empath and having this weight that you carry around with you always. Um, there's definitely also something about animals, your pet connecting with animals. It could be your dog, your cat, whatever it is. Um, you have guides and angels on this earth, like present with you on a day-to-day -day, um, basis. It's, it's very special. Um, Ten of Pentacles, not always, but sometimes the two dogs here really speak to me. And in that particular situation, um, this is it. You realizing that your guides are also sometimes present with you. There's just so much changing in your spiritual journey and spiritual awareness. I really like that. Page of Wands in the reverse and Five of Wands in the reverse is very interesting. Um, to me, the Five of Wands in the reverse could signify a personal victory around matters of the heart. Something that took a long time to finally appear in your life if you've been trying to manifest love, trying to manifest a reconciliation, 
uh, an important conversation or if you've been sending good vibes and love to someone that you're not communicating with at the moment, know that what you're doing has a very meaningful impact on this person's life, even if they are not aware of it. It feels like you've been very, very uh, serious about manifesting something. Again, all connected to your spiritual practice, it seems like. You're getting to the next level, getting signs and getting clear answers around things that you manifested and not only having a gut feeling, but seeing, noticing like, okay, things are changing around me. But again, I feel like you've been sending a lot of good energy in someone's life. And I feel like this is someone that you've been having problems with. Your heart is in the right place, Pisces. And there's definitely something that started with anger, frustration, maybe jealousy for some of you. And is transforming into acceptance and love. This is the transformation journey you are on. So the things that used to be so heavy on your heart and those feelings that you didn't really know how to control them or how to understand them, it feels like now you're definitely more aware of where it comes from. Maybe again, because you're doing inner child work, maybe because you release toxicity or negativity or trying to do that. But your heart chakra, it feels so balanced and very, very powerful. So know that when you are sending good vibes to someone, when you are sending love, no matter what they did to you, and you making the empowered decision to forgiving someone, not for them, but for you to be at peace, know that this is definitely creating more abundance around you. And it's you know, creating very, very good karma for you. So having awareness also around what you wish for other people. If sometimes you catch yourself um, wishing that, you know, someone's project doesn't work or wishing something and your mind goes there, it's not your heart, but your mind is a little bit pissed off or again jealous or uncomfortable around another person's experience it's very important that you check in with yourself um, at least do it for you so you find peace in your heart there's definitely something important about that you could have been doing chakra work also working with your chakras um, I don't know what you've been doing but again this new practice in your spiritual life is so much more powerful than you know right now. So that's why I feel like you have to be very careful with your intentions around other people. Always wish them the best. Always make sure that you're rooted, grounded, and that everything you're sending outside of yourself is, is from the heart. Again, even if someone did you wrong. And that is wisdom, being able to not wish hate, to not send any hate towards someone is, is, you know, to me, this is mature. It feels like you're maturing in the way that you exchange energy and the way that you do things. Um, it's not going to help you to send someone bad vibes. It's not going to help you. It's actually going to come back 10 times and create this toxic cycle so I feel like there's something here about your heart being at peace nine of cups very interesting knight of cups and the high priestess you are in your element right now I don't know who this reading is for but what I know is that I am talking to Pisces that are finally doing the good work after a very long time of trying to heal themselves and trying to make sense of all their feelings you learn to ride the wave of uncertainty you're learning to ride the waves of all the feelings and making space for all the feelings even the shitty ones even the 
challenging and scary feelings. You found a way to nurture yourself better than anyone ever did for you. It's There's this powerful, independent, solitary energy. Knowing that you have yourself no matter what till the end. And the High Priestess to me right now speaks a lot about that. It doesn't mean that you're going to be single or that you're going to be alone. It's not about that. Reclaiming your individuality. Reclaiming your power, especially around your intuition. Because, again, you're very careful with how you move in the world, very careful with your intentions towards others, and that is something that you should be celebrating. Definitely. And we have the Nine of Cups, you know, the wish card. Who doesn't like to see the Nine of Cups? Recently, when I see this card, I make a wish. And I've been thinking a lot about that, and I've been reading a lot about that. Um, this these moments where we let ourselves make a wish like let's think about the new year's eve your birthday whatever it is these um because i've been reading about temporal landmarks if you've never heard about that research that it's very interesting and i'm going to talk a lot about that in my tarot course that i'm that i'm creating right now but um, when we make the decision to start fresh, for some people it's going to be buying a new notebook, you know, a fresh notebook. So exciting. I love doing that. Um, making a wish on your birthday, making some type of wish on New Year's Eve or, you know, this mark that you're doing in your brain of this is the beginning of the rest of my life. I am starting fresh. Um, Nine of Cups to me speaks a lot about that right now. So there's something about that. You telling yourself, this is it. This is my new beginning. I am starting fresh. I'm not waiting for a big event to happen. I'm not waiting for January 1st or my birthday to start fresh. This is it. It's happening today. So seeing this card, I feel like I have to tell you, make a wish right now, Pisces. How do you want to be feeling a year from now? Is there something that you want to accomplish? Is there a state of mind that you would love to be in a year from now? Take a moment and make a wish. And by doing that, you're kind of, it's, it's kind of a brain hack, you know, making a wish. We are letting ourselves as human have high hopes. And it's very important that we learn to do that. We learn to celebrate the little moments and create these, again, temporal landmarks. Like, um, there's something important about that. I don't know why. I don't know why. You could be celebrating a very important birthday this year. Or there could be something that you've been wanting to celebrate and I think it needs to be addressed. It needs to be celebrated and that's also why the Page of Cups is here. Making time for celebration, fun, play. Um, and I, I really like that. And again, everything I've been feeling around your power of manifestation, seeing the Nine of Cups here, just it speaks to me in that way also. The things that you're manifesting, they will come true. Be careful what you wish for is definitely a theme of this reading. And I'm not saying that as a warning or to scare you. Just being very careful with your intentions. How you judge yourself and how you judge other people. And if you experience feelings of jealousy, frustration, also remembering that another person's success doesn't take anything away from you it doesn't take anything away from your success and your happiness um so there's definitely something about that it feels like you've been uh clearing out a lot of stuff you've been clearing out a lot letting go of a lot of things maybe some people but just it can be things decluttering again starting fresh and it brought so much peace into your life and this is just the beginning this is the beginning of a much more peaceful time for you um and i like that so let's pick more cards i want to know more about i want to know more about this last row the high priestess knight of cups and nine of cups is there something the pisces needs to know 
Ten of Pentacles again. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles is the center energy of this reading. To me, that's a very important card. Again, ending some type of cycle when it comes to your ancestors. Being the first one to understand something, to live the kind of life that you're living. It can be very connected to your spiritual journey also. Um... There's something about that. There's a lot of releasing happening right now and also a lot of cycles that are ending. The stress of needing to be a certain way to please your family, slowly but surely, it's kind of being released by you. Again, there's this solitary and dependent energy Um and not being so controlled by other people's opinion. And again, wishing the best for others. It doesn't take anything away from you to have people being successful. Even the people that you don't like. And that's very important because I keep repeating myself that there's an important message there. Oh, and I didn't even see it. But look at that. The high priestess is here. So... The message I just said was very, very important. Sometimes I repeat myself in reading and I'm like, I'm my ego is telling me to shut up. But then my heart and my intuition is like, if you're repeating that message, it's because it's very important to someone. Um, so high, double high priestess in your reading, which is just one of your power cards. You know, when I see high priestess, I think about Pisces right away. Um you are the last sign of the zodiac so endings releasing letting go is definitely something that you are a master at sometimes again people don't like that people don't like that you know the people that <sighs> manipulated you in the past or you know, feel like they can treat you the way they want and that they're, you're just going to go with it. This is not how it goes. Pisces know how to release, how to cut negativity, how to protect themselves um, energetically, definitely from other people's toxicity. So there's definitely something about that. Like, yeah, the decisions I'm making, they might not make you happy. But at the end of the day, you're not walking in my shoes. So I like that. I like this type of mentality. Again, it's not about you being alone. It's about your independence and reclaiming your power. Six of Cups. A lot of cards around healing are coming up. So this is it. This is a very important healing journey you are on. Um, from a specific area in your life. And the Six of Cups, I'm not surprised it's coming up after I, I've been talking about this inner child work. In the traditional version, you can see a person offering a cup to a little one. And there's already flowers in the cups, which is very important in the tarot. When you see something in the cup, there's something that already exists there. There's a relationship that is already full of love and full of souvenirs and you know, memories. And now it's time to rebuild that. It's time to reinforce this relationship. So for some of you, it can be, again, reuniting with someone, reconciliation, if that's in alignment with you. But it could very much be making more space for the little you. And acknowledging your little one. Um, which I know some people are not ready to talk about that. They don't want to hear about that. Um, but it's still very important for me to acknowledge that. Especially if I'm seeing the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles two times. I have no choice but to acknowledge that there's definitely inner child work that's happening in your life and we have the two of swords notice how much the moon is showing up in that reading high priestess two times have the moon on the eight of cups we have the two of swords right now so there's again something that's taking more space in your life by creating a very solid spiritual practice for yourself and even more 
you know, um, a stronger one than ever before. It's helping you making more empowered decision. It's helping you being very careful when you are responding to someone. Again, how you judge other people, how you judge yourself, how you react to a situation, how you receive energy. You're very empowered right now. And every time you have to make a decision and every time you have to answer an email, answer a phone call, deal with something, you're definitely able to ground yourself and make the right decisions for you, which to me is, again, total wisdom. Knowing when to say no, knowing when to be unavailable and unapologetic about that also. Um, very inspiring. And again, it comes from you, Pisces. It comes from the work that you've been doing on yourself. No one is coming to save you. <laughs> no one is holding your hand through that, really. Maybe friends, maybe, you know, your chosen family. But this is definitely your work, your journey, which might feel and look very weird to other people. I don't think the people around you necessarily understand the power of the transformation you're experiencing right now. Um, this is big work that you're doing. A lot to celebrate, again, around your spirituality and your healing journey. Um, make sure to celebrate yourself. Make a wish. Buy yourself some flowers. Um, if you don't have... You know, space in your budget to buy flowers. Go pick some. Go for a walk. Do whatever uh, can mark this celebration. Create some type of ritual. It can be just blowing a random candle and making a wish and celebrating that moment. Acknowledging, shit, I've been doing very good work. I've been noticing how my mind is changing. How the connection with myself has been growing and evolving celebrate that pisces don't wait for your birthday don't wait for new year's eve celebrate that today if this reading is in alignment with you if you're still watching and listening to what i'm saying right now i i challenge you today to celebrate yourself in any way that you can it can be the most simple thing ever knight of wands and ten of swords all of that is very impactful for your self-confidence. No matter how confident you are or aren't, uh, there's a huge impact on how you show up in the world, how you take care of yourself, how you practice self-love. And your self-confidence is definitely impacted in a profound way. You're going to feel like changing your hair. You're going to feel like doing things maybe a little bit out of your comfort zone, wanting to be seen, wanting to be heard. Maybe you're going to feel surprised that you even want to say yes to, you know, a party invitation or I don't know, like it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But there's going to be this moment in October where you are going to be shining in a room full of people and it's not going to be overwhelming. It's not going to be stressful. It's going to be very nice. There's something about you keeping your head up and enjoying some type of celebration. It could definitely be around Halloween. No one does Halloween better than a Pisces and you know that. Um, there's something important about that. The way that you show off, the way that you present yourself, maybe again, wanting to change your hair, doing your makeup in a certain way. Um, and that's for <laughs> any gender, you know, just doing something a little bit out of your comfort zone or different than what you usually do and celebrate yourself and receive compliments in a way that feels very, very good and not uncomfortable. So you're again doing things from a grounded place, doing things from the heart, receiving love, receiving from the heart. It, it just feels really good. You're letting go of, and definitely you're still working on that, but there's something that's changing when it comes to your brain, your ego. Um, 
the way that maybe people could trigger you very easily easily or um again the way that you've been reacting to things what it creates what type of emotion other people can uh, create inside you there's something changing around that you are more secure with who you are you might not know exactly where you're going again you are riding the wave of uncertainty like no one else so it's not about knowing exactly where you're going it's about the present moment and every moment you're making the best out of it because you're grounded because you're making the decisions not from a place of ego, of hate, of jealousy. You're making decisions for yourself from a place of love, from a grounded place. And that to me is very, very, very inspiring. And also just I bow down to you if that is your reading. Let's pick some moon cards here. We have, oh wow, Virgo energy, you are good enough. This is what's changing in your heart, knowing. It feels like you've been training your brain. You could have definitely, again, changed something in, in your, in your self-care practice. I don't know, looking in the mirror, saying, I love you, giving yourself a high five in a mirror, hugging yourself being aware of how you speak of others, speak of yourself. Everything that you do right now is rooted in self-love. And that is something that to me feels very mature, very profound. And no matter where you are on that journey, you're exactly where you should be. And you are on the right track. All of this is bringing so much more peace into your life. And when you are able to do things from a place of self-love, well... The brain is really happy. <laughs> the brain is calm and quiet and it feels very easy to listen to the quiet voice of the intuition after. So you are good enough Virgo energy. I love that. Thank you so much for being here, Pisces. If that reading resonated with you, Pisces, if you are still watching and you're like, that was my reading, I want to invite you to um, my private Facebook group. I'm gonna link it down below. Um, those types of readings, that's the energy I wanna be surrounded with. That's the energy I want um, to connect with and have people in my close community uh, sharing their experience around, you know, healing journey like that. To me, this is very profound and very real. So thank you so much, Pisces. Take care of yourself and we'll talk really soon. Bye.